What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video and in this one I wanted to go over the different styles of run defense that you see in Madden 18 and why exactly you see them. So if you've noticed most of the best run defense are, are either cover 2, cover 4, or cover 6. That's what a lot of people use when they want to try and stop the run and so a lot of people don't know exactly why those are the coverages that are called they just know that that's what it is and so it's actually each one of those coverages has something unique about it that basically makes it good in certain situations and against certain styles of runs so that's really what I want to go over in this video today for you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and call the single back wing formation it's a very popular formation this year especially running the ball it has a very very good halfback stretch out of it and so it's a formation that you see a lot online you see it in competitive play so it's a good sample formation and we're gonna go ahead and start off with the cover four so I'm just gonna run three four odd and we're gonna go cover four drop show two and really the reason cover four is a good run defense it's very good for the interior runs because of the fact that the two safeties are going to be in run fits to where they're playing the run first their first priority is the run now it's not very good for exterior runs because of the fact that the outside cornerbacks are not going to mimic the safety's movements so the safety is going to play very aggressively over the middle of the field and basically at the snap of the ball they're not going to backpedal they're going to stand still watch the backfield and react however the outside cornerbacks who you would think would do the same thing since they're in the same zone it's not the same because of the run fit so the cornerbacks are actually going to backpedal at the snap of the ball so although you might have very very good interior run defense because of the safeties positioning and how they're going to react the outside corners sinking back at the snap of the ball is going to put them in a position where they're not going to get blocked until they're 15 20 yards downfield right here halfback stretch Shazier did a great job of scraping to the outside and making a play but we can go ahead and look at how the cornerback was going to be sinking back and how Torrey Smith I don't even think Torrey Smith had engaged him in a block yet by the time Shazier was actually able to make a play so if Shazier gets blocked here if Selleck actually blocks him and then the cornerback has no shot the, the only guy who's going to be able to make a play on the ball carrier at that point is going to be the strong safety but just wanted you guys to see how far back he is in that deep outside quarter zone he's you know over 10 yards backpedaling and really the reason that's important is because of the fact that the longer it takes for him to get engaged in a block the less time he has to get a block shed and so the less time he has to, to get a block shed the higher chance of him getting blocked further downfield right there you see the safety is the one who ends up making a play the corner got blocked the entire time and you know it's only a five or six yard gain but if your opponent is a run happy person he'll obviously take five or six yards every single play so that's kind of where Tampa 2 comes in now Tampa 2 is a much better exterior run defense because of how the outside cornerbacks are going to react so the cornerbacks in this case as my controller batteries are running low the cornerbacks are going to end up because they're in those cloud flat zones basically mimic the role of the safeties in the cover four and and essentially it's actually going to be swapped so now the safeties are going to backpedal at the snap of the ball in those deep halves but the outside cornerbacks right there you see and Torrey Smith actually does a fantastic job of throwing a block uh, he held that block for abnormally long but what you want to look at here is the concept of how quickly the outside cornerback is going to engage now in his block and that's going to give him even more time to not only get in the backfield because of the fact that he's engaging in his block at the line of scrimmage so it puts him in a much better play to actually make a play on the ball carrier but now because he's engaging so much quicker you have that much more time to get a block shed and get off that block and right here as you can see the safety is going to be sinking back like I said, almost like role reversal between Tampa 2 and cover 4 in terms of run defense. So that's why, you know, Tampa 2 is seen a lot more and it, it's definitely gained, you know, prominence over the past couple months with the rise of the stretch and how, you know, effective halfback stretches have been in this year's game. So a lot of people go to stuff like Tampa 2 and cover 2 sync to try and stop the outside runs. And so with good cause, obviously, because of the fact that, you know, the stretches are probably the best run in the game. And so something some people will do is, as you saw right there, sink that cornerback inside and get him inside positioning on that outside receiver. You do have to be careful about possibly getting hit down the sideline with a fade route if you do this. But if you're sure they're running and you want to move that outside cornerback in, that's the result you're going to get because he plays so aggressively underneath and instantly, you know, crashes down. 
with that inside positioning, he's going to be able to get inside, come in free into the backfield and make a play on the ball carry. So definitely some give and take a savvy player might notice that and be able to, you know, you know, make the right adjustment and, you know, torch you through the air or something. But uh, that's just something to keep in mind if your opponent is killing you with the stretches right here cover four like i said much better suited for interior runs right here the halfback plunge out of this formation which is basically the same as a halfback dive uh, whenever run to the quarterback's dominant side so Foles is a right-handed quarterback so you want to run to the right get that quick handoff animation and right there the linebackers are actually making plays but even if the linebackers weren't there or if a guy were to break a tackle you can see the safeties are obviously in the area to make a play and once again the stretch going to be an easy five seven yards right there against cover four so just obviously kind of overview cover four definitely well suited for interior runs cover two well suited for exterior runs like stretches and tosses now kind of a hybrid between both of them where you kind of get the best of both worlds and something that's been getting very popular has been cover six and so there's one setup in particular uh, if you guys don't know cover six is cover two on one side of the field and cover four on the other and so what you want to do is you want that cover four side on the side that you think your opponent's going to be running the ball to and what people started doing was manning up this outside cornerback on the outermost receiver and so it kind of covers your bases in, sen in the sense that you're not playing him super aggressively and putting him in a flat zone or something uh, to where you could get beat over the top if your opponent does run a fade and you know throws the ball mixes it up on you you still have him out there in man-to-man -man coverage on that outside receiver so you kind of reduce your odds of getting burnt deep but at the same time it's a very aggressive setup in that that outside corner is now going to play much more aggressively underneath in terms of against exterior runs so what you're going to see here halfback stretch and you're going to see that cornerback come crashing in and he's going to come in untouched almost every single time out of this style look where you baseline press man him up on the outside receiver and just like that he's going to come flying into the backfield that's a four yard loss on a halfback stretch so that's going to be a very effective way of slowing down the stretch and like i said this kind of gives you the best of both worlds in that you have the cover four and the extra run support in the middle of the field by that strong safety in that deep quarter zone he's going to be playing very you know disciplined over the middle in terms of interior runs but then you have the exterior run d to both sides actually with not only the cloud flat and the tampa two on the left but then now you have the manned up defender on the right so you get good exterior run defense on both sides with solid interior run defense and that's why cover six has kind of risen to the top in terms of the preferred run defenses of a lot of people obviously there's still a place for tampa two and cover four there's still two great coverages and they have their place for sure but i think cover six has kind of gotten above them in the pecking order in my opinion so that's going to be a very effective run defense setup and that's why it's effective is you know it has the best of both worlds with the ability to man up that outside defender so quick recap cover four interior runs covers two exterior runs stretches and tosses and cover six kind of a hybrid do it all type of deal so that's going to wrap up this video guys as always thank you so much for watching if you have anything you'd like to add or any questions definitely leave them down in the comments below and i will 100 percent get back to you on whatever you have for me and until next time take it easy